in today's lecture I'm going to talk about hypersensitive reaction type 4 and it is often referred to delayed type hypersensitivity as the response may appear in one or during the period between one and three days so the effector cell in this reaction is T helper number one and as you know that T helper number one is a blind cell and has not the capacity to see tertiary tertiary proteins or protein so however this tertiary protein when taken by the antigen presenting cell for example a macrophage they will take a protein for example in case of uh, uh, infection by mycobacterium tuberculosis bacilli these bacilli they will be vagocytosed by the macrophage then they will be processed by means of lysosomes into peptides and these peptides they bind to major histo compatibility class 2 at the rough endoplasmic reticulum so peptides derived from this bacteria in association with major histo compatibility class 2 will uh, or get expressed on the surface of the antigen presenting cell or of macrophage now T helper 1 can see this is T helper 1 can see peptides as I mentioned that it has no capacity to see tertiary protein but it has the capacity to see peptides or primary proteins and through its TCR or through its receptor it interacts with a peptide and a protein from the T helper 1 known as CD4 will interact with a major histo compatibility so this will lead to activation of T helper 1 and activated T helper 1 will produce a cytokine known as interferon uh, interferon interferon gamma this interferon gamma will or has the capacity to recruit more macrophages to the area so these macrophages or recruited macrophages they they come together like uh, they, that they, they, they are building a wall and of course they will produce another cytokine known as human necrosis factor uh, alpha so uh, delayed type uh, hypersensitivity uh, or hypersensitive reaction uh, type 4 it is usually due to cellular immune or the response is cellular mainly cellular in contrast to type 1 where IgE it take place in type 2 where antibodies against streptococci uh, interact or cross act with the heart in type 3 where the antibodies of IgM or IgE they bind to uh, antigens and they form immune complexes and when they deposit they lead to inflammation uh, so this is purely uh, or type 4 uh, reaction or hypersensitive reaction type 4 is purely uh, cellular in contrast to other 
types of hypersensitive uh, reaction. And uh, as a, a, an example for uh, type 4 hypersensitive reaction is a MANTU test. This test is a test for infection by uh, tuberculosis. So if a patient presented to you with a cough for more than two weeks and you would like or want to diagnose, you may send him to MANTU department or uh, just to run this test. And the basis for this test is that we inject purified protein derivative intradermally. And we, we, we ask the patient to come later, at least uh, after one or two uh, days. And uh, if uh, there is a delayed type, this will be uh, seen as an indurated area. And it means that this patient is infected and it is uh, and he is sensitized. In in, in, in Mantu test, this protein or purified protein derivative, it is uh, derived from the uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis bacteria or bacilli. So when I inject it here in the fore arm, uh, antigen presenting cell, we see the antigen, we engulf it, and uh, presented to T helper, and this T helper uh, will uh, produce interferon gamma that recruit more macrophage to the area, and this will lead to a localized uh, granuloma. Similarly, uh, in case of uh, contact dermatitis or delayed uh, uh, drug reaction, these may these inter or reactions may be seen. However, uh, this uh, delayed uh, hyper or type hypersensitivity may play a role in uh, tissue uh, damage uh, seen in uh, infection by uh, tuberculosis and by uh, leprosy. And uh, we do believe that, or we think or it seems that most manifestation in chlamydial infection, for example, trachoma, this appear to be from uh, uh, delayed, uh, or appear to be as a result from delayed type uh, hypersensitivity. And just, I would like to mention that T helper one as an effector cell may play a role in some other diseases, for example, diabetes uh, mellitus uh, type 1, or in case of insulitis. Insulitis, insulitis means inflammation of the cell of Langerhans. So cellular infiltration may lead to destruction of uh, pancreas due to uh, this uh, mechanism. And uh, also in, 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 in some other diseases, for example, uh, rheumatoid, uh, rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous lecture, uh, rheumatoid arthritis could be type 3. But however, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, in some instances, it could be type uh, delayed type hypersensitivity or type 4. And uh, uh, the, the, the cells or the, the infiltrated cell may take, uh, for example, collagen, process it, and uh, present it to T helper 1, and the T helper 1 will produce uh, cytokines. For example, tumor necrosis factor alpha, it will lead to destruction of joints and to more pathology. Thank you very much, Professor. Ahmed Bolad.